Uh, we have three Sinn Féin questioners now. Uh, Senator Neil O'Donnell and Kay Dinna. Look, and I'll be uh, as quick as I possibly can. Uh, I just want to thank the Minister uh, for being here, and I think his contributions are always very helpful uh, and insightful at this committee. Uh, and I think because of that and because of his acknowledgement and other colleagues' uh, acknowledgements that uh, it is such a crucial time uh, for us uh, that if we could even hear from the Minister uh, and he could make a, a commitment to perhaps come in a bit more regularly uh, to this committee than uh, perhaps he was able to uh, in the last term, and we would be keen to do that. Uh, in terms of a question, uh, Minister, uh, I mean, obviously we have all acknowledged the, uh, the Good Friday Agreement, and, and while I accept that, that you and other colleagues have said this committee has an important role uh, in facilitating engagement and dialogue, and it does, it also has uh, its remit in terms of looking at the implementation or lack of implementation uh, in relation to the aspects of the Good Friday Agreement, and we shouldn't lose sight of that uh, either. So in, in regards to that, Minister, and, and I think the real unease and the real concerns and fears that's out there in relation to the internal market bill, and you know both the Assembly and the Shannon recently passed motions uh, condemning uh, the internal market bill and asking for it to be uh, withdrawn. A part of the implementation uh, of the Good Friday Agreement uh, is an exercise in democratic expression around our future constitutional status. And you'll know about the increased uh, mobilisation uh, around that uh, 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 issue, uh, and you'll have heard that uh, from a broad range of political uh, and civic uh, life. Um, and really, when you were in here with us before in the last Iraqis term, uh, Minister, you made reference to the fact that even you, within your political lifetime, would like to see uh, a united Ireland. So in the context of the Good Friday Agreement, in the context of the uh, Shared Island Unit, in the context of the real and live danger posed by uh, Brexit, I'm sure, like me, it will give you deep cause for concern when people in very senior uh, positions of responsibility and political life refer to aspects of the Good Friday Agreement. Uh, which is endorsed democratically north and south as being divisive or dangerous or not to be spoken uh, about. I think that runs absolutely contrary to the political spirit uh, of the Good Friday Agreement. So given all of those things, uh, Minister, uh, I'd like to ask you again uh, what preparations uh, are underway uh, by you and your department uh, in terms of future planning, in terms of prudent, responsible future planning for any change in the constitutional status in line with uh, the uh, Good Friday Agreement, so we don't have another uh, example of a Brexit where the preparatory and groundwork isn't done. I think that would be a plague on all of our houses if we were to follow that particular agenda, and I don't hear anyone asking for that. And very briefly, uh, Chair, I just wonder, given uh, that it's a commitment in the programme for Government Minister, if there's any update you could give us on the uh, planned referendum on presidential voting rights for citizens outside of the state. Okay, Gormagat to Shandor. Uh, now we've